I know you're hearing this a lot. Ethanol blending, E20 fuel, and all the controversy around it. But let's rewind a bit. Ethanol is an alcohol-based fuel made mainly from sugarcane. And India is blending petrol with ethanol to reduce its crude oil imports. And it also has lesser tailpipe emissions. And E20 means petrol with 20% ethanol blend. Diesel car owners need not worry as only petrol is mixed with ethanol. Diesel engines are not compatible with blending because ethanol doesn't mix well with diesel. Well, occasionally filling E20 in non-E20 cars may not cause immediate breakdowns. But regular use can be harmful. How? See, ethanol is more corrosive than petrol and absorbs water easily. It can damage rubber seals, gaskets and metal fuel lines that are not designed for higher ethanol content. Sounds alarming? Wait for this. In terms of engine performance, your mileage might drop. And you might hear knocking sounds or rough idling. Long term use, it may shorten engine life and increase maintenance costs. As if suspension and wheels damage from potholes and badly engineered roads and of course floods wasn't enough. Now we have this. Quick tip, do check your insurance company if E20 damage to the engine is covered or not. All cars manufactured right now in the country are E20 compliant. But I have a bad news for you if your car was manufactured before 2023. Some Hondas and Mercedes cars were engineered to handle E20 fuel way ahead of the time, but others would not. If you are a Maruti owner, need not fret, as the company has already introduced special E20 kits for older cars. Rest of you will have to wait. Thanks for watching.